It must be by his death. And for my part, I know no personal cause to spurn at him, but for the general. He would be crowned. How that might change his nature, there's the question. It is the bright day that brings forth the adder, and that craves wary walking. Crown him that, and then I grant we put a sting in him, that at his will he may do danger with. The abuse of greatness is when it disjoins remorse from power. And to speak truth of Caesar, I have not known when his affection swayed more than his reason, but tis a common proof that lowliness is young ambition's ladder, whereto the climber upward turns his face. But when he once attains the utmost round, he then, unto the ladder, turns his back, looks in the clouds, scorning the base degrees by which he did ascend. So Caesar may, then lest he may, prevent. And since the quarrel will bear no color for the thing he is, fashion it thus, that what he is, augmented, would run to these and these extremities, and therefore think him as a serpent's egg, which hatched would, as his kind, grow mischievous, and kill him in the shell.